Three years ago, when I applied for my part-time one-to-one iPad project, the idea was simple. Go paperless to save time and effort copying useless facts, and instead use a tool promoting student engagement, interactivity, and creativity. Now, things look very different in my classroom, and I'm continuously looking for new ways to redefine what it means to learn mathematics in the 21st century. When students walk into my classroom, they grab their iPad for the period, click on a web clip to our course website, and download a math task template. This PDF file serves as an organization tool with details about the learning goal for the day, photos related to, the t to each task, and practice problems to assist students in the consolidation and reinforcement of new learning. A quick tap on the screen allows students to open the file in GoodNotes 4, a great app allowing users to annotate directly over any PDF file. The app has allowed my math class to go completely digital, ensuring we can take advantage of the many great mathematics tools at our fingertips, including HTML5 math manipulative websites, MyScript Calculator, Fluid Math, and many, many more. Creating materials involves snapping photos and capturing video on my iPhone to make math real. These resources are then modified and enhanced on my MacBook Pro using a variety of apps, including Keynote and Final Cut Pro to help students visualize the math we are learning prior to introducing their algebraic representations. Each lesson begins with a minds-on providing an opportunity to revisit the learning goal from the previous class while scaffolding to the next. Diagnostic and formative assessments can be completed instantly with tools such as Socrative to determine where students are comfortable and where more attention is required. The discovery portion of the lesson often involves a media-rich, real-world problem requiring student collaboration to solve the task through the inquiry process. Students come up with very unique ways to solve the problem with many steps and calculations required. The digital format of our course allows students to share their work via AirPlay to the Apple TV for an experience similar to Bancho, but in much less time. After students share their solutions, we then make connections between them in order to develop a more efficient method involving the algebra related to the learning goal for that lesson. This allows students to want the math rather than ask why they need it. Similar practice problems assist in the consolidation of the newly introduced algebraic representations. After students share their solutions, sorry, students then reflect on their learning by app smashing their work with a summarization of their understanding via a free blogging network I created called mathblogs.ca prior to saving their created content to the cloud for access from anywhere. While Apple technology has dramatically transformed the way I teach and my students learn, the true redefinition of mathematics education has just begun. Thank you.